Good day, guys. Welcome back to Island Gaming with PJ. And today we just have a few stories for you guys. Starting off with Starfield. Ever since Todd Howard announced Starfield, fans from all over the world wanted to play this game. This game has promised to be as expansive as Skyrim as in-depth as the Fallout series. Now, since Xbox acquired Bethesda, no doubt this game became a console exclusive for the Xbox Series X consoles and the PC. No doubt leaving some Sony fans feeling left out. However, this game has continued to be one of the most anticipated games for 2022. Today, some new images uh, came out for Starfield, letting us know a little more information about what this game would entail. Please take a look. So as you are seeing, these are some very clean images. I know and it really helps us to see that this game no doubt would be a very expansive game and we know that fans of Bethesda games would look will be looking forward to this game. Given a uh, third track record we know that this game would be something that is more than a hundred hours you could be able to spend on this game. It would also be very immersive. So these are the new images for Starfield. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this game could be Game of the Year? Do you think it would be able to beat God of War? Do you guys think it would be able to beat Horizon? Please let me know. So that brings us to the second story in this video. Both Sony and Microsoft is doing something a little strange. They would be adding in-game ads as you play your game. Um, now this article I'm reading from is brought to you by GameStop and they report sources speaking to Bloomberg claim that Sony began work 18 months ago on the project and is currently doing testing with other tech partners on ways to help game developers place in-game advertising in their titles with a particular emphasis on using them in free-to-play games. Now guys, how do you guys feel about this? How do you think both Microsoft and Sony implement these in-game ads? Do you think it would be placed on billboards? Do you think it would be placed on items in the game? Or do you think they'll be doing something like this? This video is being brought to you by David Jaffe who is slapping the pony out of a, out, out of a dude um, because yes, God of War does look like a DLC. No, no, no guys, just kidding. Um, God of War Ragnarok is a good looking game and you know most gamers can't wait to see it be launched. So that brings us to the end of this video. I um, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Um, you know, I'm just having a little fun here. <laughs> <laughs> so, like and subscribe for more videos.